One of the things about pilgrimage is that interesting is that everybody has expectations. And I think that sometimes people like to say you should feel this way or you should feel that way or it will feel this way and what I've come to realize over the past few days is it will feel different for everybody. Just like everyone's relationship with Baha'u'llah is different then your pilgrimage will be different and it's to get the very most that you get out of it. For me pilgrimage has been about kind of understanding my spirituality, who I am as a Baha'i, where I'm going as a Baha'i, what my obligations are as a Baha'i. It's just allowed me to feel more connected and not sort of separate my work life or, you know, my social life with my Baha'i life. I feel that the Baha'i faith is my being. It's kind of like a journey, like I'm going on on my own, but also with my family. I've had conversations with my mother like, and my sister that I've never had before about just about their hopes and like what they pray for. It's not very common like in my family to like sort of talk about like heart matters, but just the space just kind of brings it all up to the surface. Pilgrimage offers a time for spiritual rejuvenation and reflection. Since during pilgrimage you're free from the daily cares of your life, this is a great opportunity to reflect deeply. I am now 80 years old and I don't have much more time, so I feel that this pilgrimage was a gift, truly a gift from Baha'u'llah. I feel much closer to the central figures and I feel much closer to the House of Justice. It's really helping me focus on what in my everyday life I should be focusing on. Really having to uh, re-examine my daily life and the fact that what I feel here and the devotion and level of commitment that I feel here is what I should feel back at home. When I focus so much on my, my wrongdoings or my shortcomings, I'm not focusing on what I, how I can serve the cause. And that's where my energy and focus needs to be. So I need to empty myself to beg for forgiveness and to forgive myself. I need to leave these things here. Let Baha'u'llah take care of them. He's much better at it than I am. And uh, think about how I can serve best. Since I've been here, I'm having a better understanding of how I might be able to participate and contribute to my community and to follow the guidance of the Universal House of Justice. Before I came on pilgrimage, I was very involved in the institute process, but I didn't have any spirit connected to those things. So I was just like going from thing to thing. I am now at places Baha'u'llah was in or Abdu Baha was in, places where that spirit is and that just has to have an effect on you. It, it did me. So I know I'm bringing back from pilgrimage a spirit to infuse into the core elements or the administrative order that I'm a part of. I've been a Baha'i for 35 years and by coming on pilgrimage is a perspective that I've never had before. Many people said, well, why go to Israel at this time when you can just read it and see the pictures in the book? There is absolutely no comparison. Being here has been so unbelievably important to me, and I never, ever would have had this understanding, this perception, and this insight unless I had been here in person. It has made all the difference to me.